I'm asked sometimes how I created the little watermark on the images in my Windows 7 design. So I thought I'd do a little video here to demonstrate how to create this effect. Here's one of the images in the Windows 7 design. And you see here I have a second layer with uh, the text for the overlay. And it's it just says Michael Brighton Photography. I'm using the Tryon Pro. And to get the nice overlay effect I'm using, you can click double click here on the layer and you'll get the layer styles panel. And it's basically three adjustments I've done. First of all, I have a drop shadow which I set to multiply at around 90% with a little angle and th then here the distance just one pixel and the size of two pixels so it's just uh, showing a little bit to get a little separation from the background from the image. The second adjustment is gradient overlay it's a normal fill method, 100% linear gradient at 90%. And to get the right colors, I double click on gradient. And then you have some handles. Usually it's just two handles, but you can set in another handle just by clicking here. And for my gradients, I'm using uh, three handles. So I'm going from one color to another, back to this. And if you double click on this handle here, it brings up the color selection dialog. And for my watermarks, I usually use the color picker, which you get if you go over the image here. And I select one of the dominant colors in the image. For example, for this image, it's blue color. Press OK. Then here. I take the second handle, choose another quite dominant color, which would be, for example, around here, or, or this uh, light magenta tone, or what we have down here. It's a little experimenting needed. I go with this one. And for the last handle again one of the dominant colors. I could use the same as for the first one or a slightly different handle. And the last thing I have it's contour. It's just one pixel. Mode is darken. Position is the outer edges 80% and again I choose a, a color from the image but a darker color for example here a dark blue can make it a little darker even. Then I set OK and yeah, I should activate it again to, to see the effects. And here you see here the drop shadow gradient contour and you can now also click again on the different effects and this will bring you directly to the adjustment and you can further play, play around. You see, uh, zoom in a bit on the gradient here, starting with the dark blue, going to the a lighter orange brownish tones here and you can fine-tune it a bit now for example using here this orange uh, this would be too harsh I usually try um, to to pick the colors uh, in a way that that it blends in nicely with the background um, I don't want this watermark to distract too much from the image okay so that's it. That's how I create my watermark.